cooking some beautiful spiced butterfly lamb today with some Persian jeweled rice and roast squash. Now the lamb's going to cook really evenly because I butterflied it out and marinated it earlier. I put the meat fleshy side down on a board. Using a really sharp knife, I followed the line of the bone all the way around, cutting carefully until I can take it out. It doesn't have to look perfect. Open it out flat and then make a few slices through the thicker parts of the flesh so it's about the same thickness all the way through. I toasted some cumin and coriander seeds, tipped them into a mortar, added some sumac and smoked paprika, crushed it up a little, added some chopped garlic in there too, a splash of olive oil and sherry vinegar and a grind of pepper. Mixed it all together. That all goes onto the lamb and I rubbed it right into all the cuts and corners on both sides. So that's been marinating overnight for maximum flavour and I'm going to give it eight minutes on each side over a very high heat just to sear it. And over here I've got a pan of onions softening in some butter and oil with some lovely spices, cinnamon, cardamom, cumin and a tiny bit of chilli. They've been cooking down to a lovely soft golden mass ready for the rice. I covered some basmati rice in cold water and left it to soak for about an hour. I also pour boiling water over some dried cranberries and a little more onto some saffron. So the drained rice goes in and then in go the cranberries and the saffron along with the saffron soaking water. And then I'm just going to top that up with a little bit of boiling water just so it comes level with the top of the rice. Dot on a little bit of butter, lid on and that will cook nicely in about 30 minutes. It's time to turn the lamb over to the other side. And then I've got some butternut squash slices here that I just brushed in a little bit of olive oil and they go directly on the grill bars. They'll take about 20 minutes or so to roast to perfection. Once the lamb has seared beautifully on both sides, I'm going to turn the heat right down low so it can finish cooking gently. So I've got some toasted walnuts here and a lovely big handful of flat leaf parsley I'm going to chop. Put that on top and they're going to chop up three cloves of garlic and then the seeds from one pomegranate go in they're really pretty and then finally I'm going to grate the zest of an orange over the top so the rice is cooked now and I'm going to stir half of that mixture through the rice if you're really lucky the butter in the pan will have formed a lovely crispy crunchy layer of rice on the bottom just get right in there and stir that through that's the best bit to make sure the lamb's cooked just how you like it it's best to use a meat probe you're looking for 65 to 70 for a medium this is 62, about medium rare, just how I like it. So once the squash is done, I'm just going to pile it on this plate. A few nice big dollops of Greek yoghurt, a drizzle of pomegranate molasses, and then a nice generous handful of mint leaves, and finish it off with a little sprinkle of lovely bright red Aleppo pepper. Slice the meat as thick as you like and sprinkle over a little mint and some salt. Spoon the rice into a dish, and tip over the rest of the pomegranate and walnut mixture. And there we have it, spiced butterfly lamb, Persian jeweled rice, roast squash with yogurt, mint and pomegranate molasses. What a feast.